What's going on guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be changing out the window switch panel and the unlock and lock buttons for your W204. So as you can see here, the switches on the driver's side door has all faded and broken apart. So we're going to be replacing both these switches so that it can look brand new once again. In order to remove these and replace them, you need to remove the entire door panel. Now, I'm going to briefly show you guys how to do it, but I've already done a video showing how to do that. So if you check out the video in the top right hand corner right now, it will take you to my video where I show you guys how to remove the front door panel. So be sure to watch that video so that you can get to this next step where I remove the door switches and then replace them. Okay, so make sure you put your window down so it's easier to pry it from here. Just pry it, separate it, and then pull it forwards. Take it off. This is a 2007 model, one of the first series of this model. So, on the 07 models and the earlier models, they don't even have that H-clip here, which is so annoying to remove. It makes this job a little bit easier, but it's still a little bit involved. So it's just a T30 torque screw that they have here instead now. And you just have to remove this. Now, honestly, I don't know why they didn't just keep it like this because it just makes it so much easier to remove a bolt, a screw instead of that H-clip. So, and that's all it was, just this T30 torque screw instead of that H-clip. We just have to pry the door apart. This sat inside your door lever, so you just have to pull the cable back so it exposes some wire, and then take it out of its seated position, and then undo your two plugs, press on the tab at the top here, there's a tab there, press on that, pull it out. They're color coded, red and blue, red and blue. We can now work on removing these two button switches. Okay, so if you have a look at both these pictures right now, the one on the left is the car that I was working on and the one on the right is my car. As you can see, there is a difference in the, the lock and unlock button. The one on the left has a surrounding piece that clips over the top of the lock and unlock button. But mine on the right hand side did not have this. Either the person that owned it before me didn't put it back on or it just didn't come with it. I just wanted to show you guys this because if you do have this part, all you have to do is pry it off and it will come straight off. It really isn't hard to remove. I just wanted to point this out so that you are aware. That way you're not confused if you come to this part and you don't see this part. First, we're gonna start with the lock and unlock button. Just unplug it. There's a tab here. Press on the tab and pull your plug out. We'll also undo the orange LED light for our door handle. There's just a tab here on each side, so you just have to pry that up, like so, and it will come right off. There we go. And in order to remove this, I know it looks like there's these two screws, T8 screws here that you need to remove, but you don't have to do that. What you need to do is pry it here. Okay, so if you have a look at the new buttons, like this, you'll see that these are the tabs that lock it in place. Okay, so there's one here, there's another one there, and the same on the other side here as well. One there, and one right there. This sits in this way, so you push it in from this side, meaning that it will slide in over this tab and then clip in. So in order to remove it, we need to pull it out towards us, not press it in like the other switches. And what you need to do is Pry these tabs back so that this switch can come out, like this. Okay. 
as you can see the switch is slowly coming out you just keep prying it up and you want to lift it up as you're prying it so that it doesn't clip back down and then we do the same to this side pry it and look at that that came straight out so it's this tab here this tab and this tab and this tab that hold this lock and unlock button in place and we get our new one make sure it's in the right way remember the plug plugs in this way so obviously the plug faces this way okay and then all you do is push this straight back in and it will clip into place just like that put our plug back in reattach our orange LED like that and there you go that is your lock and unlock switch replaced now to do our our master window switch so this is our master window switch right here there is a harness that plugs into it right here so press on the tab right here and pull this plug out and you have one two three four t10 torque screws that you need to remove so that it will come out so we remove these four t10 torque screws And last one, four. There we go. All four torque screws removed. And now, if you have a look here, there is basically just this one tab that helps it lock in. Press down on it and push it forward. And now, it will come out. Okay, so we'll flip it around now. So as you can see on the other side right now, it's already starting to come out. And all you have to do now is lift it out. And that's it, look at that. That's how it comes out. Now, we grab our new one. You've got to have a look at where your grooves are because when you look at your switches, you see these um, circular points where the screws go in. They have a curve, so you need to make sure that you line it up with the switch. So notice how there's a curve there, a curve there, there, there. You need to make sure that lines up, sit it in, and then push it down. And now we just have to screw it in and it will clip straight back in. So if you have a look there, you notice how it doesn't sit in all the way? We need to ensure that it does sit in all the way. Maybe if we put the screws in, it will pull it straight down. So we'll do that. All right, I'm gonna put it in. The top clips in just fine. And I'll screw it in and see if the screws pull it all the way back down. I'm gonna screw in one of the bottom ones now and just hoping that it pulls it all the way back in. Come on, move, move. Okay, it looks like it does that. So it does not matter if, so it does not matter if it's sticking out a little bit. Once you screw it in, it will pull the entire switch all the way down and make sure that it is lined up flush. Okay, we're screwing the other bottom one now. There we go. That just pulled it down. We'll check it out now. It does stick out at the start, but once you screw it in, it pulls it into place. I haven't done the top ones yet, but now we're going to do the top ones. So if you take a look closely right now, you can see that it is not completely flush at the moment. You will see, as I screw it in, it will pull it flush. Okay, so I'm screwing it in and as you can see it's pulling it down as you can see right there beautiful now It is completely flush do the other side as well and we are pretty much done I showed you guys how to plug this back in now. Just make sure you also plug back in the master window switch And that just plugs in like that and you are done guys now We'll go back to the car and reinstall it before we put the door back on make sure all your clips are back in so they just simply slide back in. So as you can see here, we have a clip and it just slides back in. Do the same for all of them and you're pretty much good to go. Before we put it all back together, we need to ensure that our door latch is back on. So we grab our door latch, we sit it in place. Okay, so you pull it back, expose the wire, tuck the wire in and then let it sit back in. Now look, all this is done in my video where I take off the door panel, but I'm gonna show you guys quickly anyway. And then you simply plug these back in. 
red to red, blue to blue, fully color coded, so you can't get it wrong. It only goes in one way. There we go. Now, one of the other important things is to make sure that your door goes over your, your locking pin. So you lift it high enough, line it up, push it down so that your lock pin comes out through the hole. Okay, so this is wrong because obviously it's sitting over it. So we need to get that out of the way, pull this out so it sits out of the way like so. All right, we'll put our lock back in. Okay, and we get it as flush to this as possible. Like so, come in on an angle a little bit. And you wanna make sure you're flush. There we go, see, you notice how it's flush now? So if you take a look at the door now, you can see that it is completely flush at the top here. That's what you want. Okay, and now with that flush, we can simply clip the door back into place. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. All the clips back in. We can replace our foam cover. Plug back in our tweeter. reinstall our tweeter you line up this side first make sure it sits in the light the gap there once it sits in you just push it that way and it clips in like so we replace our t30 torque screw that sits where the h clip is supposed to sit once again i really don't know why they changed this out from a torque screw to a h clip they should have just kept it a torque screw to make life so much easier okay now one thing you should always do before you finish is test it first. The last thing you want to do is put everything back together and then you go to test it and nothing works. No, you don't want to do that. So we'll test it. Windows in, windows out. Select, select, light comes on. Windows up, window down. Press up on this window so it comes up and you can see that the window comes up. We'll do the same to the, the back. Up and it comes all the way up in the rear beautiful close the door we'll press the lock and unlock buttons make sure they work uh, look at that that is superb guys everything works as it should okay and now for the finishing touch back our window frame panel and we are good lastly we just need to replace our two T30 tool screws that go underneath right there that's one and the second one and there you go guys your master window switch and your lock and unlock button for your driver's side door successfully replaced and everything works as it should folding windows perfect uh, select our mirror so we select the right one and we adjust it and it works as it should Select the left, adjust, and the left moves like it should. Perfect, guys. That is absolutely perfect. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Ring that notification bell not to keep up with the uploads. Until next time, guys, this is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off. Bye for now.